Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Uh, a little bit different setup. Let me know what you think of this. I just kind of moved it over here because uh, I was kind of moving things around. But anyway, today we have a package and I'm not sure what's in here. I have an idea. Uh, this is sent to us from a friend of the channel and uh, he uh, thought Oh, he sent some. Uh, so he sent some other boards that I opened during another review, and so we've got a bunch of projects that he's kind of lining up. And let's see what we got in here. Uh, okay, it looks like some parts in here. That's awesome. I know there's gonna be some. Whoa, those are heavy. I was expecting some PCB boards, which we got PCB boards. There we go. That is, let's see, is there a name on here? It looks like a power supply. It's got some big heat sink. I, I'm not sure this could be an audio amplifier. This looks like an audio amplifier. Oh, here we go. Uh, Nielsen uh, Pass, Bride of Zen, number two. Cast code mono, uh, mono, <laughs> mono, uh, mono amplifier. So, all right, cool. So we have a project board there, and wow, it's really nice that you sent all this stuff. So, oh my gosh, these are gigantic transistors. Big old, oh. Okay, so there's four of these guys out in here, and they're for the Haga uh, power, power amplifier. Oh, did you say you wanted to see a big transistor? There you go. See the size of that guy. Yeah, so there's four of those big old transistors. And then, okay, more stuff for the Haraga power, or power amplifier. I gotta build these amplifiers up. Oh wow. Okay, there's some film resistors and some nice, uh, okay, this is an Elna 220 microfarad 50 volt caps. So those look like some nice caps. And I'm gonna just dump it out in the box so I can see what we have here. So there's four of those capacitors, there's four film resistors of some value and four more of another value. They're probably special for that amplifier. Okay, and then, uh, holy cow. AB100 amplifier board, so the same thing, bunch of film resistors. Um, oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. There's four sets of these. They look like they're got a gold finish on them. Banana jacks, those are super nice. Okay, man, looks like I can build some amplifiers here. Oh wow, we got some cool PCB boards in here. Pull them out without getting them all scratched up. Man, they're, it's heavy, there's a bunch of boards in here. All right, there we go. There's some surface mount. Geez, I wonder what that one is. All right, we're gonna have to get some definition on some of these guys. This one has some big surface mount parts here and some more caps here. And let's see. Okay, that's for the Olive Turbo. Look at that white one, that's pretty cool. That's neat. It looks like a, uh, either an output or an input board because there's a fuse and yeah, I don't know, guys. We are going to have to get some feedback on these guys. Tell us what they are. Wow, look at all these boards, holy smokes. Okay, Jean Rehaga Super Class A Amp. Man, that's a nice looking board. 
Wow, somebody did a nice job on that one. Gareth Roberts, DIY audio file. Looks like we have a matching set. And then, that's an interesting looking board. Okay, this one, this one's a front end of something. I'm not sure what this is. All right, move on here. Um, some interesting looking boards. This one's an output board, it says test. So, okay. We will have to get some information on this. Here's some Nielsen Pass AB100 amplifier boards. Okay, so these are the Nielsen 100 Pass. Man, those are nice looking, aren't they? Look at these. These take eight of the large transistors on each board. Man, that's some uh, nice... I'm looking at the trace work in that and nice heavy traces. It looks like nice clean short runs. It looks like a well designed board. All these boards are like that. Big heavy short uh, traces. Whoa. Let's not drop those. Wow. Okay. Looks like a bunch of projects. <laughs> Don't know what they are. They're audio amplifier type stuff. I know that much. But uh, there's so Jean Haraga. I mean, these are labeled really nicely. These are, man, that is a nice silk screen. All right, guys. So let me know what you think of this. This is really cool. I really appreciate this. This was really nice. I'm uh, happy to. Ah, I don't know what to say, but I do know that our friend he also likes Signet gear and has a nice bench with a bunch of Siglent stuff, except for his generator. Uh, now, I have this Unity, this new Unity, which, you know, this guy, I think, is working awesome. So, and then I also have the other uh, generator, which is out of camera view, and it's connected, so I can't pull it down. But, uh, you know, that was that other inexpensive uh now I can't even remember the brand. I remember that they didn't put the name on the front of it. So it's like, maybe I should write on it so I remember what it is. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm going to send this one off to our friend. And uh, give him a little Christmas present there. Phil's bench up with signaling gear, right? So, all right. So I want to say thanks to the Dash Puppy for sending all this stuff. And I'll send off this generator and... Happy holidays, and let's get our uh, projects going. Okay, guys? All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and I appreciate all my uh, other patrons, and I appreciate everybody for watching the videos, and let's get busy on some projects. And let me know what you think of this close-up camera angle. The uh, camera's a lot closer. I don't know if it looks a whole lot different. I haven't been able to see any of the, the footage yet, so... Hope it worked out. Um, all right, thanks guys, we'll see you next time.